Hey guys, today's Tuesday, March the 7th of 2023, and I want to do a U.S. pre-market open uh, analysis on what's going on. So let's get into it, man. Look at crude, just chopping around back and forth, uh, just grinding a little higher. I'm sure if it's going to go, it's, it has to close above 80.63, and if it's doing that, it's going to have to test 82.66. Uh, and it's just chopping around in the overnight. Uh, but the U.S. session looks strong and it pushed higher. So maybe when the U.S. opens again, maybe we push higher. And that might be the uh, target up there. Uh, R Bob, a lot of traps here, but officially a breakout. I'm going to have to uh, look at cycles on the R Bob. But yeah, that looks good. Uh, the strength is up. So that's looking good on the four hour chart. Uh, in the uh, overnight session uh, it's getting a little pullback but we'll see in the US it was strong here as, as the same as crude and uh, natural gas man what a day look at that look at that PPS candle right here and you can see a little weakness on the uh, squeeze trigger which is kind of like a histogram of uh, pressure and look at that big drop we found support at 250 and now just kind of going sideways in the uh, overnight session. Uh, heating oil. Uh, looks like it's just getting a little weaker here. Kind of inside day or not inside day. Yeah, kind of a couple of inside days here. You can see it here, uh, but it's just kind of lost momentum right here for now. But there is a squeeze place setting up uh, and it started March the 1st. And it looks like the pressure wants to go to the upside, but we'll see. Uh, so far, it's contained, and the teeth is going to explode to the up. Continue going sideways, building more pressure, or go down. Let's go to the uh, gold and see what's going on with gold. So gold kind of put a little high here of 1864 and 1810. So now is this is the range that we're playing on the daily. So if it's going to push back, it's going to test this. Or maybe test this level here, 1841, and maybe continue pushing higher. But so far, we got pivots now with it that we're in a range. You can see on the four hour overnight session, it's uh, getting a little weaker. You can see the momentum. And uh, silver hasn't put a range yet, uh, but it's uh, pulling back also. You can see it right here. We get a little closer. There is a range on the four hour, which is a 2139 all the way to 2107. And now it's kind of below it. So getting a little weaker here, but just, you know, it's a little early. We'll see when the U.S. session starts. Uh, What's this copper? I've been saying the line in the sand is 407, 408, and it's just oscillating back and forth around there. Uh, and it's uh, just just a lot of chop. It's undecided where it wants to go, but it wants to stay above it or below it, but it's just hugging that line. So 407, 408, uh, once it gets away from that line and starts going going up or continue going sideways, people building position, or it's, you know, going to sell, then that's when you know the trend has changed. You can see that it's in a squeeze play right here uh, since uh, February the 24th. So there's some pressure building. This is on a daily chart. There's pressure building. And now look at the four hour. Uh, it's just triggered a squeeze play. So, I mean, this will be quicker compared to this. This is building up. And if you look at the weekly, I don't know what the weekly is showing, but if the weekly is in a squeeze play, there's going to be a big explosion on copper. Uh, we just got to wait to decide what direction is going to go. Uh, platinum. Uh, in a range also, what is that? Three, uh, uh, 986. Yep. 986 all the way to 903. And it's in there. If we could get a breakout, uh, that would be nice. Uh, yeah, it's also in a range here too on the four hour. So we'll see. That's, those are the ranges here. Uh, this would be nice if we could break out of there. Let's, uh, look at, um, Let's platinum. Let's look at palladium real quick. That's part of the list. Uh, yeah, it's not looking too good. 
you can see that it's just pushing lower and the uh, four hour uh look at that look at the four hour look at the squeeze play the four hour has been a squeeze play since uh when is that that uh, february the 28th it's just been going sideways building pressure and it looks like it's starting to get weaker just look like the pressures to the downside as on the four hour on the daily there's no uh, squeeze play it's just kind of you know just lost motion we had it here uh, and then it uh, triggered down and that's when it came down over here uh the dollar this is uh interesting let's open this up the dollar range is that 105 and 104 and uh, yesterday we saw that it was kind of looked like it was going up and then it came down and uh now you got this candle and now you got to deal with that so it's it's that range you can put a fib you know retrace it looks like the middle is somewhere around here uh 104 so keep an eye on the dollar because that the dollar is going to move a lot of other people you know um i may say not people but other instruments especially the metals uh, and cr currencies so keep an eye on the dollar let's go to uh I wanted to cover uh, natural gas because it's very interesting what's going on with natural gas. Uh, we know that March is, seasonality is, is is weak and April is strong. So I'm trying to play this um this swing play. So looking at you know the midpoint chart, uh, we hit a high at three o three o two right here and fell below the uh, midpoint on the uh, weekly. And you're finding support. I think on my last video I was somewhere around talking about, you know, two uh two sixty, uh two fifty-nine all the way to two fifty-five around there. And it's hovering there. And looking at the uh day range, uh you can see uh, that it's just been going just kind of sideways. I wanted to show you a calendar here. Let's, where's my calendar? Here it is. So this is uh, using, let's make this bigger, just in case you can't see it. So looking at some uh, trading days in the past, especially in the month of March, uh, Monday has been negative of minus 0 0.5. So today and Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and Friday uh, trading days on March are positive. That doesn't mean that's going to happen, but just to give you a little, you know, statistical analysis, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday have been bullish in the past. Uh, in March, and it shows there the uh, uh, zero uh, zero point zero three uh, zero twenty, you know zero twenty, kind of the same zero twenty four. So this is a little weak, but it's it was it was positive. These are the kind of the same positive days, and then here was the same positive positive day. In regards to the week, has been uh, uh, average return by weekday is uh, zero point seven. So that's uh, that was a positive. Uh, actually, a lot positive. And then uh, on the uh, average return by week, uh, it's been 0 0.38.25. So this week was, you know, should be pretty strong. Uh, it showed that uh, Monday uh, is a negative day, uh, uh, minus uh, 0 0.5. So this was a down day. So if this is going to play out, uh, these next couple of days should be positive for natural gas. Now, next week is going to be a little different. Uh, well, uh, I'll calculate those there and put them there. Uh, just, but just wanted to give you a heads up in regards to natural gas. Uh, if this is going to play out, the bleeding should, you know, should already stop. Then we got to see how uh, natural gas is going to, you know, play out this week. But Tuesday, uh, it, it should be uh, positive. But, you know, nothing is guaranteed and nothing is promised. But, you know, we'll just see if this is going to play out. But so far, that's, you know, in our favor. Uh, let's look at, so 
we need to at least get to uh, 268, which is the uh, uh, midpoint uh, at the uh, daily. And so far, these are support level 246 and 238. But, you know, that could be broken, as you can see. How it uh, broke it here and broke it here. Uh, and it even pushed even lower. So on the weekly, this is where the, the strong level came in. That was kind of, you know, oscillating. But now it's, it's above it. It's that 255. Uh, if that doesn't hold, then the bigger levels would be 243 right here and uh, 213. And then you got this midpoint from last week. So far, we are below from this week, but this is uh, from last week. And uh, this should be 227. Hopefully, it doesn't go down that far. And then you got 237, which is the uh, midpoint of the uh, this month. And this is from the previous month. So you see how the system works. And if we're looking at our, our what, what we call VWAP, we are below it. So the bears have a little edge on us. It's not looking good. And um, on the daily, actually on the uh, weekly VWAP, we are below. So the bears have a little, you know, have, have an edge on us. And uh, another thing I wanted to show you. So I created this uh, chart of just volume. So I'm using a couple of things. Um, I'm using an anchored VWAP on the weekly uh, here, just showing, you know, uh, obviously we know that the trend has been down. So I want to see if in the future we could get acro uh, across this line. But you can see that this line is very important on the weekly. This is the uh, point of control, which is at 270. And we're kind of hovering around it. Uh, you can see that a lot of the volume is here. Uh, and then this is some big resistance right here. There's not that much volume. 340 right here. And that's the value area high, value area low. And, you know, the monthly too. Within a five-year point of control is at that 270, 260. And we're kind of just fiddling in the middle, as they say in Chicago fiddling in the middle so now if we look at the uh the daily right here you can see right here these points that uh 304 around there uh look in the, in the tpo 304 306 around there that's where we kind of stalled right there so if we continue pushing higher the next one you want to keep an eye on will be that 3 422 all the way to you know, 440 around there. Uh, that's going to be an area that we have to watch because the bears are probably going to be waiting for us there. If we could grind higher into into April, you know, because we know that April, in regards to seasonality, is strong, uh, and then it kind of pulls back. Um, and if we focus a little more here, uh, a VWAP anchored from this low. You know, the bears have an edge on us right now, which is uh, 268. So you can see it right here. Although we were strong here, <clears throat> the bears came in here. So that's where I'm leaving it at. Um, I want to make this video too long. Uh, let's see how this uh, next couple of days go. But that's kind of like what I'm looking at. We need to close above, you know, a lot of, we need pretty much the bulls to be showing up, you know, because you had a nice impulse correction. And this is where people that don't want to miss this move, if it's going to play out into uh, April, and start getting in. I'm going to sign out. Hope you liked this video and I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on uh, dollar, energy and metals, U.S. pre-market.